If your Amazon PPC campaign isn't generating conversions for you, don't give up just yet. Sellrap has a fix for you. Wouldn't it be great to acquire aggregated data from all of your products ad groups in one place? Hello everyone, I'm Ankita Patil working as product evangelist at Sellrap and today I'm here to introduce Sellrap's most powerful product analysis feature, its significance and how to use it to track the performance of your products. Sellers, are you aware that there are approximately 60 million products listed on the Amazon catalog and these numbers appear to be increasing on a daily basis? Furthermore, the number of sellers is rapidly increasing, making it difficult to get enough traffic for your products. One of the most crucial tools for every Amazon seller is Amazon PPC advertising. Running effective advertising campaigns is the need of the hour for increasing sales and outperforming competitors, especially during product launches. Because of this, many sellers experience low conversion rates and spend a lot of money on unsuccessful marketing initiatives. SellerApp understands your pain and has developed a powerful advertising tool with some highly potent features that will boost the efficiency of your PPC campaigns. This marketing tool will assist you in developing a unique optimization plan that you can use to improve the effectiveness of your campaign. We are constantly striving to provide you with cutting-edge technology to help you manage your PPC campaigns. And I'm particularly excited to discuss this feature of product analysis. So if you're wondering what SellerApp's product analysis is and how it works, let's take a look. Now, what is product analysis feature? Well, SellerApp's product analysis feature facilitates data aggregation of parent and child agents that you are advertising in the ad groups of your campaigns at one place. You don't have to visit each ad group individually to check your product's data insights, allowing you to make critical product decisions faster. This feature helps you to evaluate a product based on impressions, sales, advertising cost of sales, return on ad spend, clicks, conversion rates, spend, CTR and other metrics to determine its viability as an Amazon seller. With this feature, you can quickly find products with no impressions. Moreover, this feature will enable you to make informed product decisions based on which specific products, campaigns or product brands are performing well. The more time you devote to your product analysis, the more likely it is that you will select a profitable product. Let us now address an important question. Why do you require product analysis? The product analysis feature provides insights into products that are performing well as well as the campaigns that are driving those product sales. You will also learn about underperforming products that are draining your ad budget. This assists you in determining the best way to invest your time and money in your ad campaigns. Another useful aspect of this feature is the ability to analyze the product metrics at the SKU level. It gives a basic understanding of inventory levels in order to determine how much stock is available for a specific SKU, when it should be reordered and how much should be reordered. Now let me take you deeper in product analysis by showing you how exactly it works. Check that your advertising account is synced to your dashboard. So to begin, log in to your seller app platform and navigate to advertising then select the product analysis tab on your left. As you can see, the product analysis tab has three sections, ASINs, product attributes and performance metrics. Let's take a look at each one of these sections separately. Let's start with ASIN. Your products will be found in this section. Remember that an ASIN can appear in multiple campaigns or ad groups. Now let's talk about the product attributes. You can see all the columns by clicking on the arrow next to the product attribute. This section displays important information such as your product's SKU, campaign status and ad group status. Finally, let's look at the performance metrics. This is where all the interesting action is. Performance metrics are essential for assessing your product performance. Let's first start with impressions. This is basically a count of how many times your ad has been shown to the customers. 
It is one of the most important metrics in Amazon advertising and can be used to see how well an ad is performing at a glance. Next is sales. Total sales generated from ads over a given period of time. It helps with decision making, improving future performance and understanding your customers better. The third one is ACoS, that is Advertising Cost of Sales. It is an advertising metric that compares the amount spent on PPC campaigns to the amount earned. And it assists in determining whether your brand generated cost-effective campaigns. Next is clicks. A count of how many times customers click on the ad. If you are generating high number of clicks, your ads are generating interest. Next is conversion rate. It is basically the percentage of customers who clicked on your ad and made a purchase. If your conversion rate is lower than desired, such as when you have high clicks and low purchases and can make changes to your product detail pages to gain interest of your customers. The next one is return on advertising spend. It basically measures effectiveness of your digital advertising campaign. It's a benchmark to measure to help retailers evaluate which ad methods are working and how they can improve future advertising efforts. Spend. Spend actually denotes the total amount of advertising budget you have spent. Click-through rate, the ratio of how often customers click on your ad when it is shown. If your CTR is high, that means the audiences that view your ad are likely to click to view the product detail page. Next is orders, number of units sold from an ad over a given period of time. Now how to track the performance of your products? So firstly, you need to sort the columns to understand how your products are performing. Sort by campaigns and ad groups to find the best and worst performing products and optimize the campaigns and ad groups. Next is sort by sales. To see if your best selling products are also your profitable, look for products with fewer orders or a low return on ad spend and estimate their profitability. You can also structure your campaigns by analyzing other metrics such as clicks, orders, spend, ACoS, budget, target, CTR and others. Now here are some actions to think about after assessing your performance of your products. Depending on sales and ACoS, you can raise the price of your products to increase their profitability. Identify low performing products with no impressions that are wasting your ad revenue. Optimize your campaign and ad group structure to make the most of your advertising budget. To increase your market share, look for high performing products and increase your budget. Now let's move towards the benefits of product analysis feature. My favorite part. With Cellular product analysis tool, you can get aggregated data from multiple reports on your product in one place. The second, it provides us actionable insights on products advertised under ad groups. The third is, it enables faster analysis of large amounts of data. Success while selling on Amazon depends on your ability to monitor your performance. At SellerUp, we are constantly considering new ways to give you strong technologies to succeed in your PPC campaigns. And that covers everything you need to know about the product analysis tab in SellerUp Advertising. Once again, let me remind you that if you want to check out the advertising tool for yourself, you can find the link in the description below. Sign up today so that you can get a free trial. After all, the best way for you to get to know our tool is to use it and find out all the perks for yourself. And that's it for the video everyone. Thanks for watching. Your support means a lot to us. It encourages us to bring more helpful videos like this. If you found this video helpful, please like, share and subscribe to our seller app. Let us know if you guys want us to create in-depth seller guides on any specific topics. You can leave your suggestions in the comment sections below and we'll create them for you. If you haven't already, click the bell icon so that you will never miss another video. And until the next time I see you, happy selling!